Hi and welcome. Uh, today we are going to check out this new multi signature in uh, Nolt. And uh, yeah, so we have this full guide here. If you need step by step guide, you can check out that. Uh, so the first thing we need uh, is uh, this multisig address and to create that we need some input accounts and uh, as a demo I will uh, just generate those accounts so we can work with this. So we have this key pair generator here, we can generate new key pair. So what we will need is uh, the private key, I will save it here and uh, the address. And we also need a second one, private key and address. And uh, then we can paste the addresses here. And generate multi sig. So this will be used to uh, receive some funds. So let me copy this and uh, I will send some from here actually. I have some small amount here. Ah, wallet unlock. Okay. And uh, now if we Take this multisig account, paste it here. We can create a new transaction to to do the signing. So let's go here. And uh, what is this? It will just open up the account in Network Explorer, and we can see we have this incoming transaction here now that I just sent. We could also paste the uh, paste it here. It will do the same thing. We'll just load up this page. So let's uh, sign this incoming transaction here. So I just press sign block and we get this unsigned block here. We can copy it or scan the QR code. And we go to step two here for the remote signing uh, procedure. Paste it in here. And now we are in the actual signing part. So we select multisig. And we are ready to go. So what we need here is a second participant. We we have those two accounts, so we will have two participants. We can uh, yeah, let's let's copy the signing link first. So we can do that, or we can just copy it up here, the whole URL. But if we are using the desktop wallet, desktop app, we can copy this link. And uh, in the multi signature. We have this multisig for participants. So you could paste paste it in here and press sign. Uh, or we could also do like we just did for the other wallet to paste it here. It, it doesn't matter, it will go to the same same place. So you have these two tabs and uh, we can begin with this uh, procedure. So we would paste the private key for first account and the private key for the second account and we start multi-signing and then we need to uh, take this output data from the first one paste it here and the other way around so we share this uh, data between the participants back and forth and this is needed to do the multi-signature so we have a few steps to do here Copy that one, copy that one, next step. So now we are at the final step, paste that in, paste that in. And when I press the final step here, we will get this signed block. And which, yeah, yeah. so if we are offline, we, uh, on offline computer, we could scan this QR uh, on the online uh, computer to process this block. Uh, so I'll just copy it and uh, yes, we can see we have the same one in this wallet. So both wallets will create the same multi-signature. 
And then we go to step three here, paste this nano process block. And we can verify that it's still the correct transaction and confirm. And now it's been sent and we can see the block has now been received in the block explorer. Um, yeah, so if we would do the same here, which we don't have to, it would fail. It was said there was an error while processing the block. And that's because it's already been processed. So let me just show this one more time because there is an easier way to do this. Uh, we could. Um, okay, I didn't save that account. Okay, we could actually do it here. We can create a new block. Let's do that. Let's, um, yes, we can send nano. Um, we could do that here. Or change the representative, for example. We can take this nano bull rep, generate change block. We do this one more time, multi-sig, and copy the signing link, go here, paste that in. So now we are using the same uh, block here, and it says here you're about to sign a block to change the representative. And uh, this time we're going to use this multi-tab mode, and this will automate the process for us. But this only works if you, you have two tabs and have all the keys yourself. Normally, uh, some other guy or uh, will have uh, uh, will have the other private key. Um, so let's paste that in. And if I change participants here, for example, to five, it will change it over here. So these two tabs communicate uh, over local um, communication in the browser itself. It doesn't send any information over the internet. This will work offline as well. So I can just press start multi-signing and it will do everything automatically. And there were some errors here. I think that's actually a bug where it tries to ping the other tab multiple times. I'm not sure why it does that, but it works. And uh, you could take the sign block again go here and process that yes, yeah still the same process and we can see it shows it shows up here in the in the network yes so that's it I think um, yep yeah. thank you very much for watching and uh, if you have any questions, just check out uh, the guide and uh, I think you will be, be fine. Okay, bye bye.